Hello guys, welcome to the latest tutorial of Civil Naho Tutorials. And it's been quite a long time and this time I'm coming up with a tutorial that is regarding the SAFE tutorials, SAFE 2016. And this is one of the tutorials that has been frequently requested by our subscribers. So this is actually, the tutorial is about how to export a drawing from AutoCAD to SAFE 2016 or any other versions of SAFE. So this is a pretty much easy thing actually, but for a beginner, it might look a bit tricky. So here, as you can see here, I have just opened a structural drawing of a ground, a ground only villa. And here, what we're going to do is I'm going to just export a roof slab of this villa over here. This is a quite a simple villa. So my idea is just to make you aware how to export three main things that is column slab and beam and this as you can see it's a flat slab so usually we use a safe software for these flat slab analysis so for this one we are making it a very much simple i'm not going to make it very much complicated just how to Im import the the slab the column and the beam so friends uh, what i have done over here is that i have copied this drawing this layout from here to here so here i have deleted all the structural details and what you can see right now is just the beam and the column layout of the roof slab so the next step is to draw the beam layout that we have to export from autocad to the uh, the safe 2016 software so as we know that when we do the analysis in the safe model or any other software we assign the beam as a single line so here in this drawing it is as uh, drawn as a double line so we are going to draw the center line which is denoting the beam so for that let's uh, go for the offset and since uh, this drawing is in centimeters and the beam width is 20 centimeter i'm going to offset 10 centimeter from the any of the beam sides So I am offsetting each beam so that I can later draw a central beam. So here I have finished offsetting all the beam lines and one thing that you have to make sure is that the all the central lines that we have offset should meet at the intersection point at the column or at the beam to beam joint over here to have a proper connection and since we now have a center line for all beams we can just delete the outer lines so here we are done with drawing the lines for the beams and next is that we have to draw the slab for this villa and before going to the slab, you can see that we have assigned all the lines that we have drawn for the beams to a layer name E beam. So similarly, when we are going to draw a slab, we are going to assign the lines that we are going to draw for the slab for another layer. And let's go to the layer section here and we are going to assign it to E slab. And we are going to draw the slab that is passing through the outer lines of the columns. That is the outer columns of this villa. So let's start drawing the lines. And now by using the trim option, we can just delete the unwanted, unwanted portions. So one thing that you have to note is that uh, drawing a slab or mean when we try to import a slab 
we are not going to import just like a beams because beams are being imported as lines but slab has to be imported as areas so now uh, we have got we have drawn uh, the slab by using the lines and next is that we have to join all these lines that we have drawn for the slab that is the entire line will have to be converted into a polyline so for that we are going to use the p edit option and we will select the option multiple that is m is a short it's a short key for that and now we have to select the lines that is going to constitute the polyline that we have drawn for the slab and after selecting the lines just select the ender and after selecting the ender now we have to join the lines so for that let's uh, press on j and click on enter again or we'll let's click over here it is because we will enter the option here that is join and the first distance is also zero and now if you just select it you can see that the entire lines that we have entered is now converted into a polyline so now we are finished with the slab and the next one remaining is the columns so you have noticed that from the start of this drawing itself the columns has been placed in the structural drawing so you don't have to draw it again in this case actually but the only thing that you have to note is that the columns has to be a polyline or a closed section because it shouldn't be a bunch of lines it has to be a closed section because just like slab we are going to import or export from AutoCAD to save 2016 as areas the slab and columns are being exported from AutoCAD as areas and the beams as lines so this is an important thing that you have to note and here you can find that the columns are being assigned because the every column has been assigned to a layer E column so when you import it make sure that the all the beams are assigned to a single layer columns to another layer and the slab to the next layer so now the preliminary part is uh, finished about the uh, about working on AutoCAD drawing and next uh, what we have to do is that I'm going to delete this drawing because I don't need this drawing actually and next is another important note so before exporting or before uh, when we start to export it make sure that this drawing the any of the points of this drawing lies in the origin because the one thing that most of the people make the mistake is that just, just they just uh, import it directly and when they import it directly it means that you could see that in the safe it can be anywhere so make sure that you have to place this drawing onto the origin so to locate the origin we will just select the line here and uh, assign the first dimensions of the first point that is 000, zero, zero which designates the origin and uh, here you can see the origin is starting from here so we will draw a vertical line that is going downwards and this is the origin point so what we are going to do next is that we are going to place place uh, this drawing with this edge as origin so let me just select this so the drawing is selected and we will just move from here let me deactivate the ortho here okay and move the drawing and now we have placed the drawing at the origin with this column point at the origin and after placing it you can just delete this line so now we have done with drawing the columns slabs and the beam and placing the entire drawing to the origin and the next point that we have to note is that or the next step that we have to do is that we have to convert this drawing into dxf because when we import the drawing from autocad to into the safe you can only import as a dxf so for that there is a command that is dxf out 
so just press D X F out and press the enter so they will ask you uh, where you have to save it so we are going to save the file name as DXF and here files of type AutoCAD 2013 DXF and save and after saving this we can close this drawing So after closing the AutoCAD drawing, now we have opened the Safe 2016 software. So next what we have to do is we have to import the beam, the slab and the columns from the AutoCAD drawing that has been saved as DXF. So for that we will go to File and select the option Import and then we select the DXF drawing file. So now we have go to we need to go to the path where we have uh, saved the DXF file. So I'm going to move to the location where I have uh, saved it. So this is a DXF file that I have saved. So I'll just select it and click on open. And the first thing I have to import is the columns. So for importing the columns, we need as I said before we are going to import the columns as areas because it is a closed section so we'll go to the areas and select the layer where we have saved the column so the column has been saved in layer E column so the layer has been selected and our drawing is in centimeter so as I said before it's in centimeter so I'm selecting the centimeter and click on OK Okay, so now you can see the columns has been imported from the DXF AutoCAD drawing. So now we will assign the columns here. So now I am going to assign the properties for these imported columns here. So I have already defined the properties for columns, beams and the slab. And uh, in this tutorial I am not going to define or explain more about defining the properties for columns beams and slabs because if you have any doubt regarding it you can just uh, refer my previous tutorial so now i'm going uh, straight into assigning the properties so first let me assign the properties for the columns that i have imported so i'll go to the draw columns option and i'll select the property below as column 20 into 50 and the height below is uh, assigned as 3 meter so i can go straight I can start assigning it. So you have already seen the column has been assigned. So in similar way, I'm going to assign all these columns over here. So now I have finished assigning the column properties for the, all the imported columns. So you can see now the columns has been filled in every positions. And next, what I'm going to do is that I need to import this uh, the beam actually so we'll go to file again go to import dxf drawing file and we'll open the dxf file and now we are going to import the beams as lines not as areas so we will select the lines and we'll go to the layer that we have already assigned the beam that is E beam and the CAD drawing units is in centimeter and we'll click on OK. OK, so now you can see here the outer beams that is the, uh, the outer beams along the flat slab has been now imported and now we need to assign the properties for these beams. So we select the all the beams here. And just like columns, we have also already defined the properties for the beam. So we can go straight to assigning it. So for that assigning part, we'll go to the assign option and we'll select the beam data, the properties and we will select the B20 into 50 property 
and click on OK. So here we have assigned all the beams with the property B20 into 50 that is 20 centimeter wide and 50 centimeter depth. And after assigning the beams, next we move on to importing the slab and assigning the properties. And just one tip that I have to tell you is that when you import, slab has to be the last one that you have to import because if you're going to import the slab first, it will be difficult for you to assign the properties for uh, column and beam because when you try to select it, you'll be selecting the slab which will be a bit more complicated. So first import the columns, then the beam and finally only import the slab. So now we are going to the file and going to import dxf3wg uh, opening a dxf file and as I have said before the slab is going to be imported as areas and slab has been assigned to a layer named e slab and the cat drawing units is in centimeter and we will click it on ok so now the slab is assigned if you just look at the 3d view you can get a better view also and now this slab is not having the properties so i'm going to assign the already defined properties to the slab so i'll select the slab here so the slab is been selected and i'll go to assign slab data sorry assign slab data properties and i have defined a 220 mm slab so this is a property i'm going to assign so already have selected it and i'll click on ok so the, now the property has been assigned here so now we are done with assigning the columns beams and the slab and if you go to view that display options and extrude view you can see that we have already successfully imported the entire row slab layout consisting of beams columns and slab and with this we come to the end of this tutorial and if you find this tutorial useful please do like share and subscribe and do let other people know about this because they may also find uh, this tutorial helpful and if you have any doubts uh, regarding this you can post your doubts or suggestions anything in our comment box and definitely i'll be coming with coming up with more tutorials regarding different surface so do subscribe to our channel thank you